Hello, you yeah, are welcome to episode 10. Yeah, this is episode 10. We are still on season 1. We've done about 9 different nice designs. So if you've not checked them out, make sure you do check them out. Don't be left out. Yeah, so we are working on this gorgeous design here. This amazing, nice design here. And at the end of the video, I will introduce episode 11. So make sure you watch to the end. And we have about 20 different designs coming your way. So make sure you do subscribe so that you won't be left out. I'm using 0.25 thread. And I'm using my size 98 beading needle. I'm taking one size 6 bag bead. And I'm picking my seed beads too on it. That's five. I think I added one more and it's six now. I'm going to go ahead and tie the end. Tie it at the end of the thread because I've already put a needle at the other end. So I'm tying it just like so. Trying to pass the thread through the seed beads a couple of times. Now let's cut the excess off. I'm going to pass my needle through the white bead. and then throw the gold seed beads. I think yeah, I was getting a little bit confused with the nuts because when I take it up, it comes up and when I take it down, it comes down. Now I'm passing the needle through the gold seed beads. Trying to cut the other SS thread off, like I was showing. So, this is what we have now. So, that's seven. I went ahead to pick seven seed beads. Now note here, we've done this already, so I let go of the five and ignore the first one and pass the needle through the second one again. And we have this. Now I'm picking five seed beads again. Don't worry, we'll go over it again, you'll get it. Picking five seed beads again. And I'm passing it. through three of the seed beads just like so the three be seed beads down the white bead I'm going to pass it through another three seed beads just to get it to the side of the design yeah very simple so I actually ended up passing it through six seed beads Now let's go ahead and try it again. I'm picking three seed beads, one white and two. So we have five seed beads and one. Now I'm going to pass it through the side where the needle is coming from. The opposite end of the bead, yeah. So this is what we have. 
now we are going to pass the needle through the two you realize we pick three seed beads and two three one two so we are passing the needle through the two So just like we did earlier, I picked seven. Let's go of the five. Then ignore the first, the very first one, and pass the needle back through the second. Then you are picking five seed beads again. Now you are going to pass it through the three we picked earlier. Just like so. Now through the middle, that's where the first and the second is intersecting. So our design is thinning out little by little. We are picking. So two seed bead, one white bead, and three gold. So two gold, one white, three gold. And we are passing through the side where the needle is coming from, the opposite end of the bead. We have it just like so. After you do, we realize the gold becomes three three because the one under will join the two at the side. I hope this makes sense. Now we are passing it through the two we picked earlier. Just like that. I'm picking seven again. Let's go up the five. And ignore the first one and pass the needle through the set. Or the second bead just like so we are picking five just watch closely it's not difficult at all we are picking five and we are passing it through the three we picked initially good now you are going to pass it through Three more just to get it at the top. That's the side of the new design we just formed. So I'm picking my two, two gold, one white, then three gold. Passing it through the opposite end of the bead where the needle is coming from. And we have it just like so. So after you pass it through where the needle is coming from, you just pass it through your first two you picked. That's when we're picking the two, one, three. Now you pick your seven again. As usual, let's go. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go of the five. And you pass the needle back through the sixth one. Just like so. I picking five seed beads. And we are going to pass our five seed beads through the three we picked earlier. Then through the intersection of the other bead and the new one we are forming. 
that's the seed bead joining the two together now you pass it through three of the seed beads by the side of the new one we are forming i'm sure this is quite better but let me know if you want me to take this tutorial again i think the colors i used doesn't really distinguish like make the explanation more clear so let me know if you want me to take it again and i'll surely do that with different colors but if you're okay with this one so please comment down below if this is okay so two one three two gold one white three gold we are going through the opposite end of the bead where the thread is coming from that's our thread so the opposite end it's not very clear but exactly what i'm doing when you start you realize what i'm saying so you can just start and then just follow it's very simple not difficult at all so i've passed it through the two we picked earlier i'm going to go ahead and pick my seven picking my seven so as usual ignoring the first one and passing it through the sixth one i hope that makes sense just like so you so can see our nice design coming out just the way we want it So I'm passing it through the three. And then through the middle. Then three of the seven we just did. I hope that's clear. Or three by the side of the new one we are forming. That's all. So two gold, one white three gold I'm going to pass it through the opposite end of the bead where the needle is coming from the thread is coming from sorry just like so passing it through to the first two we picked yeah picking seven ignoring the seventh one that's if you are coming from the base then passing it through the sixth going to pick five again I'm going to pass it through the three we picked earlier then through the middle Then the next three seed beads by the new design we are forming or on the new design we are forming so just watch closely it's not difficult at all very very simple but very nice you can see our design is forming out really well Yeah, so I went ahead to continue a little bit offline and we want to off camera yeah and we want to do about a few more so that if you didn't get it earlier hopefully this will be quite better so two gold one white three gold 
fasten it through the opposite end where the thread is coming from opposite end of the bead I'm passing it through the two we picked earlier now we are picking seven Ignoring the first one, passing the needle through the second one. We are picking five again. We are going to pass it through three. The three we picked earlier. Yeah, I think it's much clear here. And the middle one. Very good. Then the next three by the new design. That's right. I'm going to repeat the process again. So you do so to you get to the length you want so watch the second one closely so two one three Passing it through the opposite end of the thread, simply the other side of the bead where the thread is coming from. I'm passing it through the two we picked earlier. Now I'm going to pick how many? Now you tell me. I'm sure you are seeing seven, that's correct. I'm picking seven. usual ignoring the first one passing through the second one just like so I think the explanation is much more clearer at the end after 18 minutes I think after 17 minutes rather yeah so passing it through the three then through the one joining the two designs then three seed beads good I'm sure this one is very clear I was trying to get the street. So two, one, three. I want you to watch this one very closely. Ignore my phone. So you are taking us through this one. simple so how many are we going to pick now 
that's five very good a parsley tree three then true then nest that's the middle one then we pass it through three more so I, I had one side being seven and one side being six so I had 13 white beads in all and that was enough for the length I wanted So I went ahead to secure a couple of nuts just to make our work more secured and firm and when we are done we are going to cut the excess straight off so this time around I'm just securing a lot of nuts just to make our work more safe and secured. As at now, I wasn't sure the work is safe, so I'll still tie in a few more nuts. I'm cutting the excess thread off. Yeah, and our design is done. Like, we are done. This is beautiful, you know. Like, very beautiful. But simple to do. I was trying it on my hand if it would be nice as a bracelet. This is beautiful. It's very simple but nice. Make sure you do check the previous ones too out. They are also very simple but very nice. They look complicated on the outside but they are very very nice. So we are going to sew this beautiful design onto our slipper. So watch closely as we sew. Just watch closely just a simple sewing if you have any other way you can sew this nice design just let me know or you can also go ahead and try any other knives and see what you think you can sew this design onto the slipper so we are just going to sew so watch closely and i'll see you after sewing
so we are done sewing this beautiful design onto the slipper they are very nice and simple very very nice I sew at one side but you can go ahead and add another if only you want but when I sew at the other side it was just enough for me so go ahead and give it a try very nice very simple and let's welcome episode 11 yeah so we'll be doing this amazing design in episode 11 so don't be left out make sure you do subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you'll be up you'll be notified anytime i upload i try my best to upload initially i was trying to do it every day but it wasn't very successful so i tried to upload at least three times in a week like monday wednesday and friday so go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified as soon as i upload the next one don't miss it don't miss it and please subscribe thank you and i'll see you in episode 11 bye